you. The Mortgage Minute today being brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. And every day at this time, OBMMI, they provide the most comprehensive, accurate, timely, and interactive analysis of pricing ever conducted in the mortgage industry. They don't tell us points paid. They don't tell us points received or APR. They tell us that they calculate it from actual locked rates with consumers across 35% of all mortgage transactions nationwide. What did rates do yesterday? 30-year conforming loan. It was up just a little bit, 6.926. 30-year jumbo loan. It was up 7.156. 30-year FHA loan down a little bit, 6.688. USDA loans, that's a rural area, is generally no down payment. 6.751, and the best loan on the market for those that earned it, it was down a lot yesterday. That's the 30-year VA loan, 6.453. We love our veterans. Now, if you want our market commentary, we send it out as early as the data allows each business morning, rsrmarketminute.com, rsrmarketminute.com. Now, the OBMMI information I gave you That's yesterday's data. So what's going on today? Well, I told you the S&P 500 is down 4.62. Today, the 10-year Treasury is down two basis points. Mortgage-backed securities are up 12 basis points. That means interest rates are down. Why? Well, that's what you're here for. All those other numbers are available on that super secret website, google.com. Let's talk about what happened. Oh, surprise, surprise. Can you believe that the government got another number wrong? Surprise, surprise. Second reading, Q4 GDP showed that the U.S. grew at 3.2% annualized pace, which is a decline from the first reading, uh, and a lower rate of the growth of the, from the government, 4.9% seen in Q3. So going from 4.9, now they're saying 3.2, but the economy's doing really good, Joe. Thank you. Slightly lower second reading helped bonds move a bit higher. PCE expectations. So this PCE, the personal consumption expenditures, that's the Fed's favorite measure of inflation. They're going to tell you inflation is going down. Now, you tell me, how does it feel? Right? I mean, we just saw that Wendy's is raising prices at, on their on their spending $20 million so they can charge more at certain times of the day. The Atlanta Fed wage tracker, wages in January moderated. From 5.4% to 4.7%. Yeah, great economy, Joe. Thank you. And this figure was 6 point plus 6.2% a year ago. So we're heading the wrong direction. Wage growth would have been even slower. Now, can anybody guess why the wage growth wasn't, wasn't as slow as it should have been? Would it surprise you to know that it's because of government wages increasing? rose 6.7% year over year, and acceleration. So the rest of us working people, our wages are going down, go to work for the government, and they go up from 5.8 to 6.7. Hmm. <sighs> Unless you're on Social Security. Yeah, then it only goes up what, 3%. <laughs> Some of us aren't that old, Blake, sorry. <laughs> well, I'm not there and, yet, but I'm close. <laughs> and Adam Schiff wants another, wants to be, get a promotion from House of Representatives to Senate, you know, because he's going to do something different than he's done for the last 600 years. And one of his key elements of his campaign is he's going to bring down housing costs. Right. Yeah, good luck with that. (laughs) Consumer (laughs) confidence. (laughs) Confidence Board released their consumer confidence for February, showing that overall confidence fell from 111 to 107. Both the present situation and expectations for the future fell. Of importance was the job-related questions, which showed that those reporting jobs harder to get rose from 11% to 13.5%. This coincides with continuing claims which have elevated, showing it's harder to find a job once laid off. We also just heard that Macy's closing 30% of their stores, 150 stores. And I just saw last this morning on a report from one of my favorite news sources. I've been watching her for a long time. Don't go there. But she's a brilliant, brilliant lady, Danielle DiMartino Booth. And she came out showing a report this morning. Retail sales in Dallas, the Dallas Fed retail sales report, showing retail sales are dropping. Now, I'm sure there's going to be a seasonal adjustment before it gets to us, but 
That is the Mortgage Minute brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990.